Now we are ready to start and verify the BGP configuration lab. Now if you see the diagram here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same four routers which we generally use for all our BGP labs or any routing labs. So I got a router 1 which is converted in the AS500 which will be my main AS. You can see the red lines here. The red lines represent it is the main autonomous system number and these three routers belongs to one main autonomous system number and the AS number I'm going to use 500. 600 and then I am going to divide this AS600 into two sub autonomous system numbers so I got a very small topology so I, I just divide using two AS but as long as you are able to understand the configuration that is okay so these two are sub AS and the numbers are AS2300 and AS4000 so which means my AS500 and 600 are your main autonomous system numbers now this AS600 is further divided into two sub autonomous system numbers AS2300 and 4000. Let's see what uh, will be the configurations and how we need to configure these things. So the first I'll explain you from, from the configuration starting with router 1. Now router 1 is a router which is outside the configurations or outside uh, AS. Now it is going to see this neighbor. Now router 1 is forming the neighborship with router 2 and router 4. Now they are not bothered about what is the sub AS because it's outside AS so they only bothered about the main AS. Now the router 1 is going to form neighborship with router 2 and router 4 using the AS600. So they are not bothered about the sub AS. So when you do configuration on the outside routers you just need to peer with the main AS that's it. And then when it comes to configuration on the router 2 now here you can see the configurations on the router 2 here. Now in case of router 2, now router 2 is going to pair with router 1 which is our AS500 so I need to say neighbor with 500 and then we have to pair with now router 2 is forming the neighborship with 3 within the sub AS so router 2 is going to pair with AS2300 here. Now you can see the configurations here. But there is one command we need to add here is BGP identifier. So whenever you are using sub AS on the router 2, the one command we need to say is BGP configuration identifier. We need to define what is our main autonomous system number. Now when you define this command, then the router is going to understand that the BGP is going to understand that this router is a part of the part of the configurations and it is belonging to the main AS 600 as of now it belongs to AS 200, 2300 now which means now it is going to pair with uh, pair with the routers whatever the neighbors you address you have now if you see this uh, 2300 is our AS so when we configure here we configure with our AS has to be sub AS and then when we are pairing with 2300 and 2300 it will understand that it's an IBGP pairing within the configurations and whenever it sees a different number like here you can see this 500 is a different number it will understand it's a EBGP period. Now it, it's not going to bother whether it is a uh, whether it is a, a concentration EBG peering because when you have concentration EGP peering you have one more command here so that I'll show you here so when you don't see that command there's one command called control BGP concentration peer so based on that command you'll understand understand whether it is a configuration EBGP peer or normal EBGP peer. Now in this case it's a normal EBGP peer pairing with this. Now router 1 is going to send a unicast message to a 600 and the router 2 is going to reply with uh, assuming it's just like a part of the a 600 not as a 2300 so there won't be any uh, AS number mismatch in this type of configurations. Now apart from the remaining all network commands still remains the same. Now if I come to the router 3 configurations, now here, the router 3 also belongs to sub AS so we need to say router BGP2300 because it's a sub AS and then we need to define what is our main AS with a command called BGP configuration identifier 600 and then we are going to say BGP configuration peer. Now when you have eBGP peering within the same configurations, now we need to tell BGP this command will be a little bit extra you have to apply whenever you have eBGP peering within the configurations. Now this is very important thing we need to keep in mind. So if you are peering with a normal eBGP 
which is outside the configuration then we don't have this command that command is not applicable like we have seen in the previous case we didn't apply this pgp peer command configuration peer command but in this case it applies so when you define this command it's going to understand that any update sent to this ebgp peer it has to be written in the brackets and it's going to send as okay i belong to as2300 so when an update comes from here when it goes to router 4 the router 4 is going to receive that update is coming from 600 and then it will say that it's going to be from 200 and it write down in the flower uh, in the bracket close brackets now based on this command it is going to differentiate your normal ebgp peer and the configuration ebgp peer so that's the only difference now apart from that neighbor commands are still the same so router 3 form a neighborship with this with 2300 and the router 3 peering with this with as4000 and then finally if you come to the router 4 router 4 is going to peer with as500 it's a 4000 as number 4000 and then it's going to say identifier is this and then you have to say peer bgp configuration peer now what is the peer, peering as number the peering as number is 2300 now we need to define that configuration peering as number and then we say remote as commands so if you see the configuration it's it's more similar let's get into the command line and try to configure the same commands so now you are uh, much aware of the commands so i'll directly go and type the commands by seeing the diagram now i don't have any of the bgp configurations running in my routers and i don't have any of the routing protocols running in my network so i'm simply going to configure everything from the basic without i without any of the routing configuration so i just have the basic basic uh, ip addressing that's it so i'll go to router one the router one is belonging to as500 no auto summary no synchronization and it's going to peer with router 2 1.1.1.2 and it belongs to remote as what 2300 or 600 so it will be 600 because the router one is going to peer with the main as only and then neighbor router one is peering with router 4 also which is it's not sub as it will be in the main as so which means it will be 4.4.4.1 remote as will be still 600 now we don't have any configurations on router one so we need to just apply a normal bgp configurations so then we'll advertise our network 10 dot network and you can advertise your one dot network and four dot network and no auto summary no synchronization already applied now the main configurations comes on router two three and four now on the router two we'll go to router bgp what is the as number now router 2 belongs to sub autonomous system number so the process the bgp as number has to be sub as number so we are not going to use the main as but when we say this command now here we are going to define what is our main as and it has to be 600 okay so bgp con there are only two commands let's say if i just use bgp configuration and question mark you don't have more than two commands so we can simply remember these commands so whenever you you this is something which is mandatory for every configuration router identifier where you have to define the main is and this command peer is, is only required when your router is having ebgp peering with any uh, sub as router so here we don't have any ebgp peering with the sub as routers so we, we need to ignore that command but it will be applicable on these two routers okay so i don't need this command here and remaining all the commands are same i need to say no auto summary no synchronization neighbor router 2 is forming neighborship with router 1 will be 1.1.1.1 remote as is 500 and then router 2 forming the neighborship with router 3 it will be 2.2.2.2 uh, remote as what's the remote as 2300 so it's sub as so we need to just follow the sub as number 2300 between 2 and 3 and all the remaining commands network command is still the same 2 dot network and 1 dot network now moving on to router 3 now router 3 also belonging to the sub as 2300 so we need to say 2300 no auto summary no synchronization neighbor router 3 is going to peer 
So before we do peering, we need to just go with a BGP compression command. Now I need to say what is my identifier. Identifier is 600 here. And then we need to say BGP compression. And what is the other command we need to use? Peer. Now router 3 is actually peering with sub AS, another sub AS on router 4, which is AS 400, 4000. So we need to say PS and we have to say 4000. This command isn't very important. We need to define it mandatory or else the router is not going to understand whether the routes are coming from the EBGP peering within the same uh, configurations or outside the configuration. So this command is going to differentiate. And then remaining all commands, neighbor. Now router 3 is peering with router 2 on 2.2.2.1. 2 Remote AS is uh, 2300 because it is a sub AS. Neighbor. What is the router 4? 3.3.3.2. And then remote AS will be 4000. And then advertising the LAN and WAN interfaces. 3. Dot network. You can see the neighborship is up. Slowly, the other neighborship also will be up once we configure on the router 4. Router BGP. What is the ACE number on router 4? 4000. So it's 4000, no auto summary, no synchronization. And what are the commands? BGP configurations, identifier. Uh, what's the identifier value? What is the ACE number? 600. And then what is the other command we need to use? PS because the router 4 is EBGP peering with router 3. It's in the configuration, so we need to say peer. Peer is 2300. So it's going to peer with uh, 2300 AS number on router 3. Okay, next commands, neighbor, 3.3.3.1, remote AS is 2300, which is router 3. And also peering with neighbor, 4.4.4.2. That is router router one, and remote AS is just like a normal remote AS. That is 500, and then network command 40 dot network, and then 4 dot network, and 3 dot network. So finally, if everything is okay, I should see the neighborship. So the first thing I'll try to verify the router one neighborship. Show IP BGP summary command. Show IP BGP summary command. You can see both the neighbors are up and router 1 is forming neighborship with router I can see here router 1 is forming the neighborship with router 2 as well as router 4 and the remote AS is what 600 because we configure 600 here so it will be 600 and everything is same no difference but if I go to router 2 and verify the same thing show IP BGP summary now here I should see some difference here. You can see 1.1.1.1, which is 500, that is router 1, and it's speeding with 2.2.2.2, .2 .2 .2, it is 2300. So, because it is a sub AS. So, it's going to show you uh, normally. The same way, if I go and check on the router 3 or router 4, so I'll verify on the router 3 again. Show IP BGP summary, it's the same thing. The router 3 is speeding with router 2. On 2300 with 3.3.3.2. The neighborship is up, which confirms that our configurations are correct. Now, if I verify the BGP routing information, show IP BGP. Now, here I can see all the routes, whatever the routes coming from router 2, router 3, router 4, all are coming with only one AS hub that is 600, which means the router, it confirms that the router 1 is not aware of whether the routes coming from sub AS or not, because the outside routers will see. It has only one AS and it can see here everything is 600 and I coming from different routers. So 10, 20, 30, 40, all are coming from 600 and I. And if I verify on the router 2, let's verify the BGP table, show IP BGP. Now here you can see some a slight difference as I discussed. Now I'm going to receive the 10 dot network. Let's say any one network I'll focus here. You can see 10 dot network. 10 dot network is coming from router one and it's coming from, let me highlight this 10 dot network. It's coming from one 
and it's just coming from this AS. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll talk about 40 dot network. The 40 dot network here you can see now this 40 dot network is coming from AS 4000. You can see in the brackets. So when you see in the brackets, you need to understand that it is a part of the configurations. So which means there is no other AS number, which means this is a part of the same AS. It's just a sub AS number, we can say. It is sub autonomous system number. So for more clear understanding, we can go to other router, let's say, let's go to router three, that will be better, where we should see some more information here. Show IP BGP. Let's try to focus on this, this route here, the 10 dot route here, the 10 dot route, it's coming from this side. Now if you see here, this 10 dot network, is coming from router 1. Now router 1 is advertising to 4.4.4.2 here because I am not going to take from this side because this side you will see some less information because it just shows only one AS. But if I if you see here this update is coming from router 5 and router 4 router 1 router 4 is going to receive it as 500 and I when it sends to this router which means the router 3 when it receives, it is going to receive as 500. And what is the sub AS? It's 4000 in the brackets and I. So that's what you'll see here. So exactly the same thing what I discussed. There's no difference. Now finally, if you verify the BGP table, it's the same thing. Now even you can verify with uh, show IP BGP specific network. It's the same thing what you'll see. So uh, there is no much difference in the output here. You can see it's the same thing. So uh, show IP BGP with some specific network. We are just trying to understand only for that network. Now I can see it's the same output here. So in the end, when it comes to router one, router one is going to see all the AS, all the routes from coming from AS 600 as only one autonomous system number. Okay, so here I got a very small uh, topology with only three routers and two sub -AS, but it's really more applicable configurations when you have a very big autonomous system number. And inside this sub -AS, again, you can go with the route reflector concepts.